Hey, 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 are you faking again? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to head back to camp because I forgot to do something. I forgot to... Basically, I forgot to store all my weapons in there. I'm sorry about that for wasting time, but I'm most likely going to edit this part out. That should be good enough. Just a tiny quick stop. There we go. Get my party members indeed, back indeed. together yeah. here. I like to put win last because Morgan like to freeze people. So that way she don't end up freezing win. Because <laughs> win will be all the way in the back there. But um, I had to choose this save. I wanted to play with a mage, but I didn't have any saves on my mage, you know, to go back to Ostagar. So I had to choose this one, and this fight can be annoying because of that mage up there on the hill. So I'm going to have to kill him ASAP. Ah, a fellow traveler of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V. Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. What happened to your head? Where's your hair? Have you ever had any hair? Those accusations are baseless, groundless, heinous, unsupportable, insubstantial, and... <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, calm Don't down. Get them. All right. You want to fight? Then that's fine with me. Immediately. Yeah. And I'm gonna get Liliana to come right here, and then kind of stick that mage in his place. Because Morgan is throwing Tempest and he'll be stuck there. And to use Wind for healing. See how that mage is stuck up there? He can't move because I use Leon to pin him there. Moving on. Also, I was thinking about doing another playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. I was thinking about playing as a mage. Um, I don't know. Because there's been a lot of requests for me to do another playthrough. So, I was thinking about doing that before Mafia 2 comes out. And that game is coming out in like three weeks, I think. Less than three weeks. cold and my heart colder let us make our vengeance swift okay and I have this mod installed it's called force death blows uh, I believe there's like three different files that you can download um, one where they only do like um, death blows on a certain enemy but the one I have on is to do it on every you know 
every one of them that she can. I kind of like the death blows. Whoa. Love how that fireball curved. Stop drinking potion, you're cursed. It is begun. Look at that. Even when knows in, she wouldn't want to heal you until the curse was gone. Thank you, Wen, for being smart. Look, the royal crest. This was his. But what else remains? I don't I wouldn't even pick this thing up right here if I see it again. Might as well. Very well. I've only done this thing once, so. But, I mean. This place is not that big. No, he didn't. Stun me. Hey, how you making that noise without a head? Huh, buddy? With his head. Very well. <laughs> oh man. Done. So anyway, these swords are really, really cool. But I'm gonna switch back to the two-hander since I spec for the two-hand. And I also like the uh, immobilized As ability. I have when casting Grease when she sees enemy clustering. Um, with at least four enemies clustering together, she'll throw that grease. And of course, I don't have any kind of fire spell for Morrigan yet, so... But I mean, that, that grease with the fireball doesn't do that much damage anyway. Um, I mainly use it for, you know, to trip them over. Very well. Because this ability that my warrior has, she, she can't fall down or get knocked down. Where are you? Oh, there you are. 